This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex. That's in the bright red letters, and the ramble is the name of the program in big white letters, or small white letters, in white letters. I've been asked by the man you see here, Albert Reynoso, is there an agenda for this discussion? Yeah. Uh, here, let me change the size of his name here. All I have to do is go like that, and there we go. Anyway, uh, he um, uh, asked if there's any agenda. Now, you have worked with me how long? Oh, right. I should have <laughs> should have thought about that. Wait a minute. How yeah, long was, How long did you work with me? 10 years, yeah. It's almost 10 years. A little, well, if you count the beginnings count of the, the Internet stuff? thing, but 10 yeah. years, okay? Easily. Uh, have you ever known me? in that entire time to walk in with an agenda no no even though i had one set for you uh, yeah and did we do pretty good radio shows as far as i know yeah i mean if it hadn't the prep sheet that you made up every day was uh, what it, a useless piece of no it wasn't a, that no was. it was it was everything to me because it gave me an it gave me somewhat of an agenda that's true yeah i told you it told you the things that were on the plate if yeah, you need them. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so um, there you are down in Florida. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say. Uh. I, I <laughs> honestly, I have not looked at the news in weeks. I, have, I don't. I don't do it as a practice. And the only time that I pass by news is I go, after I go to the gym, I go to the Circle K, brand new one, it's beautiful. Great gas prices too, I love the Circle K. Um, I go there and I pass the newsstand. There's yeah. a, a little, you know, three, three different newspapers, two of them are local, and one, and this is always, all the convenience stores I go to down here, the New York Post is always available. I don't know why the New York Post, but it's always available. Well, it is a right. It is a it is a right wing newspaper. Yes, you live in a predominantly white right wing state, mm -hmm. so it would seem logical that they would With love a lot of the New York New, transplants too. They, you know, they don't. They wouldn't love the New York Times. No, no, not at all. So you know, they want they want a, some kind of moronic newspaper that well, coddles so them. In the last few weeks, all I know that's been going on is. Uh, uh, Cuomo is some kind of a m monster, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, you know, I finally found out because my neighbor told me that he uh, quit the other day. Yeah. And I said, okay, well, I guess that's what the New York Post was talking about. But the other thing that I that I found out, and uh, it's it's a little shocking, is that the uh, new case rate of COVID is higher in my county now. And I saw this this morning higher in my county now than it has ever been since the beginning of COVID. Okay. Congratulations. That's Congratulations. no good, right? I'm not reading the news and I'm still reading this. What the hell is going on? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's now back in full force? Is this is this what I'm to believe? Well, where you are, where I am, we, we still have, we. it's gone up, but it's not terrible, you know? And it's it's basically a it's a it's now an epidemic among uh, uh, unvaccinated people. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, you oh, know. that's fine then. <laughs> well, I mean, I, what I'm doing is I'm taking precautions again. I'm I'm not wearing a mask outdoors, uh, but uh, when I walk indoors, immediately the mask goes on. You know, hmm. and I'm and I'm vaccinated. Why do I need the mask? Right. I have no well, reason. We to, don't know yet. I no, guess. But. but I don't want to take the chance because there is there are the breakthroughs as they call it, and I could get a breakthrough, and, and it, it doesn't mean I'm going to die from it because I've got the uh, the shot. But it's a breakthrough. It, it's it's you get COVID, even though you've been oh so the vaccine the the, the virus breaks through the vaccine. Yeah, right, right. Okay. But I those people news. those people don't get it bad enough to go to the hospital. And those people don't get it bad enough to die. 
the mm. percentage of people dying who have the vaccine is something like way under 1%. So, you know, mm. yeah, that's what's happened with that. Well, but, you know, thanks, but thanks I know, I know what you say about not watching the news. I, uh, I've stopped watching the news again. Marjorie still watches it, so sometimes by osmosis I'm forced to watch it. But when I'm alone, I never go to MSNBC any longer. Hmm. Uh, and, and I don't, if I go anywhere, I'll go to CNN, but only briefly. I, I don't want to get all the analysis of the news. I just want to be mm -hmm. told what the news is, show me the pictures, I'll right. decide. Right. Right? That'd be a good news uh, channel, by the way. Well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, Fox has always claimed that. We report, you no, decide. On, Bullshit. Yeah, we report, then we implant our version of it in your mind, and now you can decide. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. My foot's itching. Well, I, I don't really think I've missed a whole bunch. No. By now. No, you haven't missed a whole bunch. Not hanging on no, to the news no. like I you, used to. You missed, and, uh, now, but when, by the time this goes on, this will probably be a couple of days after we record it, but mm -hmm. we left Afghanistan and all hell broke loose. Okay. Oh, is that, oh that's what the Afghanistan thing was today. Uh, the front page was yeah. Taliban yeah. Uh, takes over Afghanistan. Something they thought like if we left, it'd be like a year before the Taliban grabbed hold of the country. It was like 10 days. I mean, well, why just, wouldn't it be? It's their country. The, exactly. It's their country. Exactly. Why wouldn't it be? Exactly. But yeah. I mean, you know, it's terrible that they're taking over again. You know, and of course, it's Biden's fault. I read that in the front page well, of the it's Post not, today. It's, it, yeah, it's not <laughs> Biden's fault though. That's the problem. He inherited the withdrawal from, that according to the Post, from Donald Trump. Totally. You know, Fake who said we'd be out? News. We'd be out by. We're leaving by May. Mm -hmm. Okay, and of so, what year? Of this year. Oh, uh, and, and and he so Biden had to go with that timeline. Hmm. Now I don't know if he could have just said "fuck Donald Trump, we're staying," but the question is also how long do you stay? You know how long are we going to be in there? At some point, you have to say, "Okay, it's your country, you protect it." Yeah, you but protect it. Maybe don't fly any more planes into our buildings, and then that's okay. Yeah, but then the, you the, do what you want. But the thing is that we we didn't do anything uh, to uh, uh, to really get out of there sl uh, slow enough. Okay, in other words, obviously our presence in that country kept the Taliban from doing whatever they were going to do. You're not just because we had more bullets than they did, but. Did you? By the way, have you seen these guys, the Taliban? No, I don't watch the news. They're a very poor fighting force. Let me explain this to you. Next time, if you're ever watching television again, and they show well, a I bunch, watch television, I just don't watch the a news. A bunch of Taliban walking down the road carrying their semi-automatic rifles. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Look at their feet. They're all wearing sneakers. It and? seems to be. It seems to be that's the, the, footwear, accurant, for the Taliban. Better than sandals, I guess. Yes, but, it sneakers. You'd think they'd be like military boots or something like that, but no sneakers. You know why maybe they they're able to conquer so quickly is because they wear sneakers. That maybe they, the military boots aren't good for where they're doing where yeah, they're doing well, their maybe terrorizing. They, Maybe where they walk, they need sneakers. Now, need sneakers. I'm wondering sneakers what brand is the preferred brand of the Taliban. Is it Nikes? Is it Skechers? Asics. Is it, huh? We like Asics. We don't like it, Nike. We don't like it, Skechers. <laughs> we like it, Asics. Very good soul. It lasts a long time, too. Hmm. That's my Taliban voice. So, uh, Never so did I, one before. Anyway, down there, you're in Florida. Mm -hmm. You got a great governor down there. That guy is just wonderful. So you're talking about news stuff again. I have no idea. Oh, come All on. you got to know what a prick DeSantis is. Literally the front page, I know that he does not want to there to be a mask mandate in schools. That's really all I've gotten over the last two weeks about the governor. And then the school, some of the school boards and some of the uh, parent boards are 
starting to push back and say, no, we need we need some masks on the kids. Yeah. No, I mean, look, look this is all easy peasy. How do you defeat this uh, this uh, virus? Uh, masks, washing hands, and oh yeah, a little prick in the arm. You but know? it's not going to happen. And he ought it's to know a lot about little pricks because he is one. It's not going to happen though, because people are people. People want to be different. People want to say they want to be free, whatever that means. Yeah. Um, and and that people are people, so it's don't even think that it's going to well, no, happen. It, we want to be we want to be free. Globe. What does this have to fucking do with freedom? You know, I want my freedom to not get ill. How dare you put freedom down like that? But but wearing a mask or not being told to wear a mask or not wear a mask has nothing to do with freedom. You're a freedomist. I put you on trial now as a freedomist. I know what freedom is. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to nothing lose. Nothing left to live for. Nothing left to lose. It's Chris Christopher. Nothing left to lose, right? <laughs> right. Me and Bobby McGee. That's right. Chris. Chris. Uh, well, that's a great. It's one of my favorite lines. Best. Freedom is another word for nothing left to lose. You know. Depends how you look at it. Yeah, but I mean, wearing a mask, not wearing a mask. When you don't wear a mask and you give me COVID, then your the, my rights are being impinged on. Right. Yes, that's true. Yeah. But we're we're talking about this uh, a year and a half longer than that after this the whole thing started. I we're still know, talking about I know. this. Look, it, this is why I don't listen to the news. I don't ca- I don't care well, to hear it again, and, a again note, and again. I just got a note from you that you're coming to visit again. Yes. Uh, if we're still living here and not being thrown out because we have court dates between now and then. Oh, uh, is it getting but, is it getting heated? No. Okay. <laughs> you know. It's just we haven't paid rent in uh, in eight years, and they might want some of that, you know. So you'll pay some of that. Well, I don't have some of it, you know. Well, I, what did you do with the rent that you were going to pay? You didn't. You you spent it. You didn't put it away so that well, if this I happened? I didn't I didn't spend it. It's still in my uh, in my, you know, in my savings and so on. In my well, then you have it. Well, I don't spent. have all of it, and Marjorie didn't save anything for her part of it because she pays half the rent. Yeah, but then why yeah, didn't you get, each put that away every month as well, if you were paying it? Well, we did. Not only would you make interest off it, but you'd still have it if you need to. Well, we but we it. we didn't because our lawyer in the beginning said, "Why would you?" So we didn't. And then one day he said, "Have you been saving the money?" And we went, "No." And he says, "Oh well, that lowers our negotiating power." I'm going, "Geez, you know, yes, you told us." Does. And then he denied that he told us this, and both of us heard it. Okay, hmm. where he well. said we asked him, should we put the rent in escrow every month? And he said, why? You should have done it anyway. I mean, well, that's just well, anyway, logical thing to do. So uh, you know, it, 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 probably he'll be able to negotiate forgiveness on that. You know, that'll be part of his negotiations. Otherwise, we'll refuse to settle. You know, I think they, you could just say, you know, hey, listen, these guys are simpletons. They really don't get the nuances of payment, non-payment. Well, so, I, listen, I, they're they, they get, no, we're the only people. Just leave we, them alone. The only you? people we would owe the rent to would be the uh, the landlord. And when we were in court one day, they said we don't expect you to pay the rent. We said we expect this guy to pay the rent. Mm-hmm. We don't see you as responsible. We don't have a lease. You know, we haven't, we've signed and not signed ourselves to any obligation. The only obligation we might have is some kind of moral obligation, and that could be negotiated. Yeah. Okay. So. And, that, and by the way, the moral obligation, useless in court. So don't even, don't even think about that as a, well, as an answer to anything. It, it, no, but the, it, 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 it goes on and on and on. So, you know. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope everything comes out. Uh, oh, well, it should, it should come out okay. He he thinks he's going to be able to negotiate forgiveness of our loan, but he said it l- lowers his negotiating power on a lot of other things. I, with it, we probably he said we probably wouldn't see any money out of this. Okay, like the repayment of our uh, our lawyers' fees, which have come That's to over a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Okay. But uh, so, you know, it, okay, so we don't get money back. But if we get the loan forgiveness, then that was like money in the bank anyway. So, 
you know. Should I set up someone else to stay with in October when I come out there? Uh, just whoever whoever is here. I'm sure I'll <laughs> tell them. Uh, you, you, I already said oh, you could stay here. I'm going to come to the apartment and whoever's there. Uh, is yeah, let yeah, me. they'll okay. be obligated to do it because I'll okay. tell them that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a prearranged yeah. deal before yeah. before the but we should settlement be, we should was be, made. I don't know. We probably are going to be okay. I, you know me. I worry about everything. I always think of the worst case scenario. But you know, in the last couple of times I've seen you, you you haven't been really like that. You've been kind of calm, very very calm. Even even now you're. Well, that's because of the drugs I'm taking. Oh well, that's fine. See, I mean, I'm taking a a thing called pregabalin. Mm -hmm. That's a Jerry Lewis drug, by the way. Pregabalin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uh, I take pregabalin. Pregabin. Yeah, that's what you should take on the gabnet. Pregabin. Pregabin. You should sell it. For Gabin. For Gabin. It helps you talk on the on the Gabnet shows. Oh. Well, anyway. If you have trouble talking to Alex Bennett, take for Gabin. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even Gabin understand that. Is there a joke there? No, it's just, it's just Gabnet, for Gabin, forget it. Go yeah, ahead. Okay, for Gabin. I've been away from I, society. If, if, if you said for Gabin, yeah. I'd go, okay, ha ha. But for Gabin, uh-huh. that's only part of Gabnet. You know, okay. Which is a name, by the way, you actually came up with. Did I? You just one day as a joke. I haven't seen my checks. Uh, as a joke. The checks come no, in. No, as a joke to me, you said, because you know, it was Great American Broadcast Network. Mm-hmm. And you just said Gabnet. Yeah. And so I figured that's good. We'll stick We'll stick with that. In the, uh, in the TV days. Yeah. In the good old TV days. But I, I you, know, you know what happened I uh, a while back? Uh, I got a notification from somebody saying that the name gabnet.com was available. Because remember, it wasn't available. We took .net right. because right. there was some guy down in Brazil or something or some organization that had gabnet. It stood for something else completely. Mm-hmm. Then they had gabnet.com. So I took gabnet.net and actually I liked it better because gabnet.net kind of is an interesting way of you know, putting the two together. Double the net. If I said gabnet.com, people would go to gabnet.net. You know, but if I say gabnet.net, right. Yeah. right. Anyway, uh, so I've been happy with that, but I figured, oh, what the hell? You know, I don't want somebody else to have gabnet.com. I'll, I'll give it a try. And I said, how much? And they said, oh, I don't know, it was like $30,000. I said, well, bullshit on that. I don't need yeah, it. Yeah, right. You know, uh, Oh, like the, oh, then that they, that had a, they had a they had a what they were what they did is they were having a auction, so I put in my bid at mm-hmm. like one thousand dollars. It's just you know I wasn't going to pay any money for it. Right. Uh, for the, from the same people. Uh, I have no idea, but anyway, so they held it and I lost, and I then I figured out well I'll find out who I lost to. Turned out, right. That GoDaddy was holding on to it, and they were the ones trying to sell it because they knew you. But had they didn't say they were. Gap. They didn't say they were GoDaddy. Hmm. You know. Wow. So they so they try to jack up the prices on their own. And I said, what "Are you shocking. calling?" I I got a hold of them. I said, "Is this some kind of scam you're running, where you're trying to you know you hold you hold a what happened was they held the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, auction." And then they outbid everybody, so it was yeah. then owned by GoDaddy, and right. GoDaddy is now then trying to sell it to me. It was very yeah. strange. Anyway, bottom line, well, that I, doesn't surprise me. At I all. just said to hell with it. You know, mm-hmm. I'm through. I, I mm-hmm. you know, I don't, I don't need it. I, I've got, and to this day, nobody's bought Gabnet.com. Well, you know, because I go there occasionally. If you type, type in Gabnet.com. What comes up is things saying, "Would you like to buy this name?" You know, mm. and well, uh, you don't. Uh, no, I don't. I'm certainly in no no great rush to buy it. You know, but I would have bought it for a thousand bucks just to have it to keep somebody else from getting it. But I wouldn't use it particularly. I would probably just have it so the site rolled over to that. You know, you'll get a you'll get a message that it, they'll try to sell it to you for a couple of hundred. Well, I you know it's it's ridiculous. Anyway, so that, that's what's been going on in my lousy life. How, how's everything down there in Florida with you and the uh, 
the, the wonderful Good. I wife. got the, um, you know, I got the remastered uh, original series of Star Trek, and I've been, you know, making my way through that. It's just fascinating. That's been taking up most of my time. What do you mean the? Do you mean the original series? Right, with Cat, with Captain Kirk, William with Shatner. Captain Kirk, and and it, but that's been out for quite a while, hasn't it? That's I the one where they redid the, they redid the special effects yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I've been I've been watching it that way, but I I tell you that the original yeah. with the cheesy special effects looks better. It feels better. It feels right. Yeah. The new special effects, it's overdone. It's too much. But you see, that's you. You're an old yeah. fart already. Ready for that? No, I appreciate the special effects. How, I think how old great. are you now? Huh? How old are you now? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. You're an old fart already. Yeah, yeah. You I know, mean. and they found, they figure, hey, the kids won't want to watch this if it doesn't look like a little like today's special effects. So they redid it for today's kids. The kids aren't that stupid. Well, they I can't. think the kids are smarter than the adults. On Star Trek, how are they going to make up if, with all the special effects? How are they going to make up for the cheesy sets they built? They they don't because you know it was done in 1966. They don't make up for that. That's what it was. Yeah. And everybody knows that. And if you don't, and you say, "Well, this looks worse than the other," then you're just an idiot. Now here's you know? a question. See, they have a thing called Star Trek Discovery on Paramount Plus, which I subscribe right. to, and it's really it's a very good show. Uh, and they also have Picard, which is a very good show. And they're full of special effects, and the sets are huge. Yeah. Okay? And uh, it's really quite a production. You compare that to the original Star Trek, and the original Star Trek looks like it was done in somebody's basement as a fan film, you know? Uh, so anyway, so I watch it, and they're great. But you go back and you watch Star Trek, and just with all its simplicity... Because they just had to throw plot in there and character development much better. It, yeah, it still works. It, it still, still works for me. Yeah. 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 I mean, there's still a point about it. You know, the point at which, though, younger audiences will not accept it. I don't think so. You don't think so? Don't think you so. think they won't? No. Okay. I think, I think it flows better without the definition of all the, the whole ship. I think it just flows better. It's just, you know, this fuzzy thing going across a fuzzy planet it works yeah, yeah and all the people are fuzzy in it too and you always just, knew the guy who was going to get killed was the guy who was on the search party that wasn't on any other show you know the, the, when they went and down the, to and a in planet, the red shirt yeah it, oh they were always wearing a red shirt the, the people that died were always wearing a red shirt. Oh, yeah. really? They should have had like a target on their back. <laughs> well, no, you didn't need a target on your back. If you weren't, if you weren't in, the, in the credits in the beginning yeah. and wearing a red shirt, yeah. then that'll keep you safe. But if you were not in the credits and wearing a red shirt, yeah. you're done. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm squeezing on this because I have arthritis in this hand, and so I have this mm -hmm. putty, but you can't see it because it's green. Oh. Uh, you see, it goes... Yeah. That's terrific. I have arthritis here. You have arthritis here? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, Think. I was told, this is where I have it, right here. That's kind of where I have that, it. That's very common. That's the first oh. place most people get arthritis. Even people who are not prone to arthritis get arthritis there. Hmm. And it isn't in this hand. That's the funny part about it. It's yeah, I the have the same thing. It's in the right hand, the hand well, that I'm, I use. I'm, I was double jointed all my life. Yeah. And I used to be able to do it in both hands, but I can't do it in this hand. Oh anymore. wow! So wow. Well, it's good. It's good to know we're 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 getting we're getting old. I'm not. I, by the way, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm I'm getting my eyes done, mainly because it's a medical procedure. What happens is if you look at my eye, you see the lid goes about halfway down the iris. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not supposed to do that. It's impeding huh. my vision. So they're going to go in raise this and lower this okay so if i want to for an extra four thousand dollars they can do away with the bags should i do the four thousand dollars and get rid of the bags is that something you got to pay for yourself marjorie's going to pay for half of it it's not it's not covered by medicare it's considered a cosmetic procedure let me remind you of the earlier conversation about not having the money to pay the rent yeah. You don't want to use that $4,000 for your eyes just yet. Well, 
Maybe I should do it now, but while I still have it. <laughs> Playing that game, huh? Yeah, Marjorie is willing to pay for half of it. But are my well, obviously are, are she, the, she wants it done. So are the bags under it? my eyes that bad? And I'm doing this just after having woken up. So see, that bad is a is a relative question. You're how old? I'm uh, I'm uh, 81. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So bags under the eyes. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Yeah, you're right. But they don't yeah. look terrible. Not even 60. I got it's coming. It's coming. They're not not, not even. Uh, it, but it doesn't mind. even look bad. Doesn't look bad. Does it look bad? Yeah. No, you look exactly the same way I saw you ten years ago. Oh, okay, fine. So it's yeah. not that's doesn't look bad. And matter of fact, you have a caricature that you use in a lot of things. Yeah. That has a pronounced bags under the eyes. You know which one I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. And that's you. That's that's oh. okay. who you are now. Anyway. What are you going to change it for? Hey, listen. You know, we've been talking for like twenty five minutes. Isn't that great? And the, the people who come on and do the citizen panel are sitting there going, come on, get over it, yeah, get over it, get yeah, rid of it. But I, I have love things to, to say. I, I love talking to you. What do you mean you have nothing to say? No, well, I have things to say, but they have nothing to do with anybody. Yeah, but you're living down in Florida, and I always oh. worry about your health because you Ooh. live in Florida. What about my health? Well, I oh, mean, oh, with, the COVID. with COVID and everything. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you've got a governor there who's killing people. You know, no, we don't yeah. we don't uh, we don't fool around here. We wear our masks still. We you know, we keep uh, our distance. We do the things we have to right. do. Right. 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 But when you're outdoors, do you wear a mask? In many cases. Yeah. Really? I don't anymore. Yeah. But there's not a we don't have a lot of people next to each other here. When I, we go into the supermarket. Yeah. yeah. I don't anymore because I, I, I take my walks. And mm -hmm. It's very hard to take a walk with the mask on. You know, it's very uncomfortable. Oh, and and yeah. plus you're outdoors and there is distance between you and other people so it's it's not it's not not dangerous okay mm -hmm. but indoors oh yeah no no you know and we're, you know we're holding a super spreader event next weekend here in uh, central park now what is that a big musical concert well uh, new, who's doing new, it uh, the city is uh, is doing it it's produced by Clive Davis and Bruce Springsteen's going to be there. And, uh, oh, this was supposed to be the celebration that COVID's over, right? Yeah, that right. Kind of thing? Right. Yeah, right. we're all back together. Yeah, well, it's yeah. it's going to be a great super spreader event. Yeah. You know? and, and it's still going on. And people will say, oh, yeah, I'm vaccinated. And they went and bought one of these phony cards. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're in such a rush to get 70,000 people into the meadow that uh, they're not going to check to make sure they're fakes or not. You know, probably not. Anyway, well, I didn't know that was going on. Anyway, uh, you uh, you take care. I will. Thank you. And thank uh, you too. And stick around after we're through here, just so I can say goodbye. And uh, you know, thank you for spending time with us. I'm sure the audience is great, greatly appreciates it. And I'm um, I'm glad that you forgot that you were my producer for ten years. I would never forget that. Well, was, yeah, was obviously you I, did I when you said when you said what's on the agenda. <laughs> yes, I did forget about that. Yeah, you forgot how lazy I was in that respect. Right, only yeah. only but, Lynn but, Samuels remembers. Lynn that. Samuels, I'm going to say, Lynn Samuels <laughs> always accused me of not doing show prep, mm -hmm. and I went. And your point is, you know, <laughs> I mean, I I see, I always considered I did show prep 24 hours a day. Everything right. I saw, I absorbed, and then I came on the air and talked about it. That's my show prep. Everybody preps for a show differently because she didn't have the talent to remember everything. Ooh, wow. You know. Getting hot now. Oh, look. You know, <laughs> she was a bitch. She was the worst. Uh, even her, remember her sister was on my show after she died? Yeah, right. And I said, so what do you remember about your sister or something? And she said she was the worst human being I ever knew. Difficult person, yes. <laughs> Very difficult person. Mm -hmm. And I'm going... Well, if her sister felt it, then I guess I don't feel bad about feeling exactly the same way. And we were supposed to be doing like a tribute to Lynn, tribute, Lynn right. Samuels, and her it's sister day. throws her under the goddamn bus. Right, right. Anyway. <laughs> hey, listen, take care. My best and little you. wife in the kinder, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you here in uh, October. In October, we'll speak before then. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Albert Reynoso. 
This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that is my longtime producer, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> and uh, longtime friend, actually. I've known him about, uh, let's see here, oh, about almost 20 years, something like that. 18 years, 19 years, something like that. Mm. Mm. Anyway, mm. boy, I'm having some coffee with it's cream in it, no less. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, it's time for us to go to our panel. There's no panel out there. Actually, I've got one person I do want to talk to here who is terrific. And uh, let, me just, uh, let me just bring them all in here. And, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum, and we'll see what, they're, uh, what they are doing here. There we go. First of all is Alan, as always. Uh, but uh, next to him, or down below him, is that the way it looks on the screen? I wonder. Below it does him to me. is is uh, our old friend, uh, 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 Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Ross, Ross Manuel, who who uh, we used to call <clears throat> Doc, but you had a last name for Doc, didn't you? Winters. Doc Doc Winters, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, he was Doc Winters. Uh, when did you finally decide, ah, to hell with it? I'll just use my real name. When I started using Zoom professionally. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're in Australia, right? I am. The lockdown. Yes. E easing up at all? No. No, it's been extended to the end of September. Yeah. By the way, what is that? Is it what you have in your hand right now? Let me just guess. Is that not a battle uh, a, a thing for the for a uh, Klingon? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. What's it called? The Klingon. The Batleth. But, but what? Batleth. Yeah, and there you have, uh, of course, the famous phaser. Yep. Okay. What else do you, do you have? Anything else in your collection, or is that it? Oh, I have plenty. I don't have time to share it all to you. <laughs> are you Are you a Trekkie or Trekker? I am. It's Trekker, isn't it? Uh, they they're, they're synonymous with each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, did you go to conventions and things like that? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hear they're giving out the AZ, the AstraZeneca, in your neck of the woods right now. We're not right talking now. about that right now, Alan. Well, we were. No. And then you changed it. Yes, and it's my show. Oh, that's and right. Beforehand, you were talking to your producer about the remaster of Star Trek. The what? You're talking to your producer about the remaster of Star Trek. Yes, right. Yes, I listened to the show. Right. And uh, but um, anyway, um, nobody else is calling tonight. This is, I wonder getting, why. This is getting terrible. What, what's your problem, Alan? No, no. I just said I wonder why nobody's calling. It's yeah. such a great show. I, I thought you said. What do you mean? It hasn't even started yet. Oh, okay. Well, it I'm here. You're here. Hasn't Ross had, is here. Hasn't had a chance yet to ramp up into a great show. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, Ross, uh, 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 everything going good at work? Are you going to work every day? Or no, you do it? Do it? I'm working from home at the moment. Oh, really? Look, non-essential businesses have been shut down. How do you like working from home? Considering I work in front of house at a museum, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. <laughs> oh, so what you do at the museum is what? Are you like a visitor services? A, a what? Visitor services, so oh, I. Visitor service. It's like uh, you know, look after the collect, you know, help visitors interrupt the collection, help with inquiries, uh, keep you know baseline security, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's which. That's, yeah, go ahead. Which you can't do when there's you can't go to the building. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. So what do you do? How do you do your job from home? Uh, I don't. Oh, you don't, but you still get paid. Yes, the joys, of the, jo the joys of working for the public service. That's great. You know, Marjorie, my wife, has been working from home for the last year and a half, I think. And she goes in about two days a week now. Uh, and she loves working at home. She gets most of the stuff done that has to be done. You know, it's not like you're not getting your work done or anything like that. So, you know. Oh, I just think this is something for me to do, and that's the problem. Um, we've only been locked down for about a week, coming up to a week now. 
Yeah. Um, so north of us is Sydney. Mm -hmm. They've been in, in lockdown for eight weeks and they'll be in lockdown for at least another 13. Wow. Where I, I work in Canberra has been locked down for a week. Mm -hmm. uh, and because I live outside of the territory that Canberra is in, mm -hmm. uh, I can't travel to cross the border to go to work. Oh, wow. Wow. Because basically the government has handled this with their, their, the borders between the states and territories are actually individually managed and they're all closed. So how bad is it there actually? I mean, it's probably not as bad as it is here, right? No, I uh, just look at the numbers for today. Uh, Australia, the New South Wales reported 600, oh, hang on, uh, 644 new cases today. Mm -hmm. uh, the Canberra has 12 and you mean, these are, these, okay. that, that's been enough to initiate a lockdown. 12? That's all Delta. Wait a minute, 12 as in a dozen? Yes. Okay. Wow. So the total cases in the county is Canberra is, 60, is 67. And that's enough to initiate a lockdown. Wow. We'd be very happy to have 12. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen the numbers. Like, you know, a million in New York. I'm not surprised. Well, we had a million overall, but not now. Uh, I don't. I haven't looked at the latest numbers in New York, but they're not, you know, they're not as, the, as The issue we have, though, is our vaccination rate. It's only about... 45 percent your your vaccination rate yeah our vaccination rate is polling yeah and as uh, as uh, alan was asking it, it's the astrazeneca basically there isn't it yes that's been pushed there so as of the end of august pfizer has been open to everybody mm -hmm. prior to that point that was only priority groups but now um enough of those at-risk categories have been vaccinated they've opened up Pfizer to everybody else yeah. And Moderna is supposed to come live at the end of September. Oh, okay. But my question is to you, uh, here in you know in in the United States, it takes the, forever for the FDA or the CDC or whoever has to do it. Usually the FDA to say, okay, it's time now for everybody to get these. We bless this. We still haven't blessed the Moderna or the Pfizer or the Johnson and Johnson. All we've said is they can use it for compassionate use or whatever. And and uh, are they a little faster in Australia? So uh, the Australian so the Australian Therapeutic Goods uh, Administration, which is basically like the uh, FDA, yeah, uh, issued the same allowances. So they're still well. well the we have the advantages is that because we are literally a year removed from everyone else's vaccination programs, mm -hmm. is that we're we're able to look at the data. And so, like Pfizer's been fully approved. Uh, AstraZeneca was originally fully approved, mm -hmm. but then that was revoked when all of the blood clot issues arose. Yeah. And now it's been given emergency issuance to allow it to be like, well, it's better than nothing. And then there, the Moderna is still going to go in trials. We've never gotten the Johnson and Johnson, and we've refused classification in the Sinovacs. Wow. Wow. So I have friends in Sydney, Australia. They're in their seventies. They were given AZ, the AstraZeneca. Mm. They weren't offered. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, the end of July, I guess. So you said that it, it's now approved for Pfizer. And so uh, Pfizer was originally issued to everyone over the age of 70. That was the original thing. And the thing was that everyone younger than that would get the AstraZeneca. The same way like the, the phases. Uh, when the blood clots started appearing in the younger people, they actually swapped. So they said that anyone over the age of 70, but actually anyone over the, age, over the age of 50 who hadn't already had a Pfizer shot mm -hmm. would be getting AstraZeneca instead. And then that means that the Pfizer's could be given to the younger people who yeah. couldn't get the AstraZeneca. I see what's going on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, I talk to my friend in Sydney every night on uh, Zoom. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's nighttime for me. It's daytime for you there. Yeah. It's about lunchtime at the moment. It's, well, it's almost sleep time for us. You know, so. Hello, Tony. Hey, what's going on? Oh, well, just talking to my friend here from Australia. Hey, can I ask Ross a question? Yeah, sure. Ross, any, uh, like in Australia, would they be looking at the numbers from the United States at all? Like the, uh, you know, because we have data since we've been injecting. Would they use any of that as a baseline, you would think? He was just saying... Ow. Yeah, the therapy. Yeah, so the therapeutic goods administration would take the data, and the chief health the chief health officer for Australia would take the data from the United States, particularly on 
determining like the roadmap roadmap out of lockdowns and out of like so where we can restart the economy and stuff. Uh, we're relying on the data from the United States and from Europe, uh, countries that have already that went through the lockdowns and all of, like the phases and things like that to figure out what can we do to prevent that from happening or what can we do that to recover from that. Um, and also looking at, at, at data saying, well, you know, you guys have like a 70% vaccination rate and you're having trouble with Delta. And like, we have a 40% vaccination rate and... Mm-hmm. We're not 70 across the nation though. No, where it wasn't, uh, like in the ACT, like from the capital territory, it's, it, it, they've got an 80% vaccination rate because they they have, the, the, but New South Wales, where the current lockdown is, only has a 25% vaccination rate. All right. So New York and San Francisco have the highest vaccination rates in the country right now, about 70%. So the numbers that you're hearing are... Um, We're 72%. Okay, there you go, 72. San Francisco is actually 77%, but uh, they're the best in the country right now, so according to CDC data. Yeah, but you know what we, yeah, say, we say is there, there there's a... 72 percent rate and you say there's a 77 percent rate in in california and yet that's with people who have had one shot for people who've had two shots no it's, it's not only in, huh? yeah san francisco is it is at 77 two shots i'll bet new york is close to that no too. no no only something no. Like about 50 something percent really two shots yeah if I knew how to put it, I, I was just looking at the data a few months ago. I don't know how to put it up. Yeah, there, so. screw the it data. Is, screw the, the evidence data. of like you know the states that don't have very high uptakes and how they're seeing the massive surges of the Delta have actually influenced Australian policy in regards to the vaccination. That's why we're putting massive emphasis on getting vaccinated, um, and why you know we've released because unfortunately in Australia. Um, because the original argument was, you know, AstraZeneca is safe, AstraZeneca, AstraZeneca is safe. Then the blood clots happened and they inadvertently smeared the AstraZeneca vaccine by saying like, it's not safe for people. And then they're like, oh, actually it is. But the damage had already been done. But now they're looking at like, I'm not going to say red states, but states that have very low uptake of the vaccine and seeing what's happening in those states. And they're going, see, this is what happens. And then you have New Zealand using us as the case example as to why they need lockdowns now have you closed down movie theaters and stuff yes okay good there's very little that's still open uh only things essentially open is uh food and medical and jobs that you can't do from home it sounds like you're in the know so you probably know you can call them red states you can call them republican states those are the states that are getting hit the hardest call it what you want yeah, I didn't want to generalize. <laughs> People, that's okay. People followed Trump, and they're going to follow him right into the grave. Listen, let me mention that uh, we only have three people here tonight. Four, uh, including you. Well, four, including me, but three people, and uh, that's pretty pathetic. Everybody, you know. Where's everybody I, at? I, I don't know why I go to the trouble to do this. You know. Oh, because you really, love it. No, I know. As a matter of fact, if I, and this is no slight on you guys. If we don't get any more people in the next couple of minutes by by uh, uh, 11.30 our time, uh, I'll just call it quits for tonight, you know. By the way, I heard your conversation earlier. I think you ought to save the $4,000. Yeah. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. not, because, not because of the rent thing, but just because it, it actually doesn't look that bad on you. I'll bet my bags on my eyes are, are more noticeable. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more towards not doing it. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, has so. has nothing to do with any money that we might or might not owe. I'm not worried about that. That's not a problem. Well, you're you're yeah. fortunate. You're wealthy. No, I'm not wealthy. I wish I were. I took too many people out to lunch. <laughs> you know, I was I was always a good guy that way. Hey, nobody nobody ever called you cheap. Nobody ever called me cheap. And, well, and, not, and nobody yeah. ever called me up to say, how you doing? You need a few bucks? You know. So anyway. Yeah. I, I fed several people when they didn't have a dime to their name. That's going to make you feel good, though, Alex. At least you know you did the right thing. 
Yeah, That's what I, mother used to say. Yeah. I'd rather be a good person and people like, hey, he was a nice guy. Yeah. You'd just be nice. That's what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what any I always news, think. Any news on who won? Yeah, I'm waiting for this. What are they doing? No, I have no idea. You know, I, I find it, uh, this is the uh, case people don't know what we're talking about. I've been nominated uh, for uh, the uh, Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, but it's kind of a contest in that uh, they have people vote, and that only counts for one twenty-fifth of the votes. The other 24 mm -hmm. votes are members of the nominating committee. And then they all vote, and uh, it's between uh, what? Who's the guy that's running in California for governor? That guy Phil said he voted for the yeah. elder guy. Elder, yeah, Larry Elder. elder. And uh, then uh, some team down in Philadelphia has been around for twenty years, and then uh, uh, me and uh, Sally Jesse Raphael. Now I don't know if I'm going to, but I, you know, I, I just the idea that I'm saying I, I, gee, I hope I win. But uh, this shouldn't be a contest. You know, they should just get together every year and say, here are the people we're going to put in the hall, hall of Fame. That's what they do at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They don't have people vote on it, you know. Uh, so what exactly happens if you, like, is the outcome of this? Do you get, like, a nice little plaque? Or... I get a nice little, little plaque thing, Ooh. I guess. And my picture on the wall at the... Radio Hall of Fame. That'd be nice, though. Come on. Uh, yeah, really. Well, that that'd be a nice thing. Well, yeah, it, it, yeah, it would be a nice thing. However, oh look, who's calling? Uh, however, uh, uh, it it's it's not as nice as it seems because I looked at the people who haven't been put into the Hall of Fame. Hello, <laughs> Phil. Oh hey, my God, it's Phil. Yeah, who oh, ha haven't been uh, put in the Hall of Fame. And uh, uh, I, uh, I kind of feel that I'm in good company. Uh, you know, people who ha had very important uh, effect on the business. There, look, the same background as Tony. Hey. I want my rent. I want my rent. I just <laughs> you realize All right, don't worry about it this month. Uh, like, yeah. I can't charge people rent. Okay, okay be quiet. No. Be quiet, Tony, because it, it suppresses uh, Phil's oh. uh, mic. Yes, Phil. I don't have to pay rent. There's a COVID extension uh, uh, moratorium uh, uh, in New York. So, uh, you know, I can hang out as long as I want. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I got a squad around. You're kind of okay. cutting in and out. I don't know. You got to get that new board put in. <laughs> you yeah. yelled at him the other day, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, anyway, was it, was, what, what, made, what inspired you to call? I you were I was watching and uh, you felt I, sorry for me. Well, yeah, <laughs> you, took, you took pity on me. I, I, I figured, hey, you know, I'll I'll stir it up. People know that they can talk and talk over me, so you know. He wants to he wants to talk about this idiot that he voted for. Oh, uh, I, I as I was queuing in, I think you were talking about Larry Elder. Yes, and you know, I, I watched a. Um, a uh, Sacramento Bee uh, interview with a number of other uh, inter uh, newspapers interviewing him, and I, th I was kind of impressed. I'm glad I voted for him. He's a talk show host. Really? His job is to make you be impressed. It's a con job. He did a good job, and the topics that he talked about uh, were ones that I agreed uh, he's, with he's him. A creep. He's That's because he likes creep. Trump. Huh? And yeah. he liked Trump. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, did you vote for him for the uh, 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 the uh, Hall of Fame? Oh no, <laughs> I voted often well, and really for you. Yeah, but you yeah, see, if you're going to be consistent, you should have voted for him for the Hall of Fame too. I figured, hey, if he if he ends up winning the election yeah. on the 14th. Uh, maybe he won't be able to be in the Hall of Fame. So have they uh, have they um, made a uh, 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 have they found out who they're going to vote for? All I know is that on the site they said the names of the people who are going to be inducted will be announced on August twenty uh, August sixteenth. Right, August sixteenth, and August sixteenth has come and gone. Yes, it has. You know, and uh, still nobody uh, has been, they haven't come out with the list. Now, I, you know, 
They have my email. They have the emails of all the people who have been nominated. You know, at least it would be nice, wouldn't it, to write a note and say, hey, we're a little late in doing this, please bear with us, blah, 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 blah. But they haven't done anything like that. I have no idea. It's getting to the point where I don't give a good goddamn. You, you know? know what? It, I'm sorry. Trump uh, was written in, and now they're trying to figure out how they can throw the election because he's already won the Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And to be honest, he's also in the WWE Hall of Fame. So, <laughs> is he? He really is, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. is. He's in the celebrity celebrity ring, which tells you, you know, Alex, you really want to be in the same Hall of Fame as Donald Trump. He isn't. Oh, he isn't true. in the Radio Hall of Fame. Uh, I was kidding. He isn't in the Radio <laughs> Hall of Fame. But last year's winner in my category was Glenn Beck. Uh, the guy with the conspiracy. You know, I think I've contributed a little more to this business than Glenn Beck. He used to cry on cue at his chalkboard. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, really? I, I think there's something to be said for putting people in the Hall of Fame who have done something to immutably change things in the business or in the direction in the business to do things differently. And I come under that category. But you these are a bunch of people who probably never heard of me because I was never syndicated, you know. And then I find out these two guys down in uh, Flor uh, down in Philadelphia mm -hmm. work for Beasley Broadcasting, and one of the people who, on the nominating committee is from Beasley Broadcasting. Well, who do you think he's going to vote Darren. for? And should they have people on their nominating committee that have some kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Something in the game, you know. Uh, uh, Are you suggesting that we uh, storm the whole affair? No, fame? I just, I just, uh, it's getting to the point where I'm going, I really don't give a shit, you know. I mean, I think I, that's a good idea, Ross. What? <laughs> Didn't work so well for Trump, though, the insurrection. So. Hey, you want to laugh, Alex? Yeah. I was listening to an old Howard Stern. A thing on the Radio Hall of Fame, and he's right. He says, "You know why he doesn't care?" Wendy Williams, he said, got in before him. He says, "I will never well, show yeah, up." Yeah, yeah, no, I saw the thing. He said that I don't know if he ever showed up or not. He did win, but mm -hmm. he said he didn't want to run. He didn't want to be part of it because, and he gave as one of his examples that Wendy Williams was put in there before <laughs> he was. You know? Should be in there. Him. No, they're, I mean, they're, they're very the obvious uh, exceptions, uh, the, as I've said, uh, uh, in people who haven't won. Uh, Don Sherwood, one of the biggest disc jockeys that ever existed in San Francisco, literally owned the market every he's morning. He's not in? Hmm? He's not in the Hall of Fame? No, he's not in the Hall of Fame. He's, he's passed away, hasn't he? Uh, yes, of course, a long time ago. Is that a qualifying uh, criteria? Huh? No, uh, you, know, you don't have to have a pulse. Uh, you know, I mean, if you check Sally Jesse Raphael lately, I mean, come on. She, you know, oh, you, you, know? you don't have to have a pulse. You know what uh, I was going to ask you, Alex? What? I was listening to it on Sirius because I still have it. You know, I didn't know Lucy has a whole effect, uh, a radio show. I was listening to old interviews she did. They have, like, the Lucy channel? They have an everything channel. They, you know. Right. They, 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 what, what what his phone went off he's getting a call it's uh it's the hall of fame he's been inducted yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but i mean i just you know i just uh, feel that and then uh, i uh, mentioned that the guy who was i learned how to do interviewing from by working with him and being with him and he would also mentor me was barry gray who was one of the biggest talk show hosts in new york city you know am i right or am i wrong uh, right, right? Uh, he is but, he is not in the hall of fame i uh called my friend barry and he voted for you and he was barry gray's doorman yeah yeah but i mean barry gray is not in the broadcast hall of fame can you can you even believe that and i what think about it's, larry king you know uh, i have i have he should be probably is you know uh they they were they've gone for names okay barry gray was big in New York City, but he wasn't big in the United States, you know. Yeah, huh? I never heard of him. Uh, there, well, was no, he, there was no syndication in those years that Barry Gray was on uh, WMCA. There was what? No syndicate, syndication. 
No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't syndication in those days, and I'd never been syndicated. So I don't fall in that category where some of these people would have heard about me. You know? Uh, who, who nominated you? Do you have any idea? The, the nominating committee nominated me. Okay, so they've heard of you. Well, I'm not gonna... all of them, I'm sure, but enough of them that I got nominated. Okay. You know, out of, what, 1,500 people they had to select from? Something like that. Mm. So, you know. Uh, but I mean, I just, it's just, I, I, I have no idea why they haven't gone ahead and done anything here. So, hmm. you know, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, they're trying to fix it. No, no, it isn't fixed. It's just, you know, it just makes, it doesn't, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have any balls to it. You know, I mean, they're not meeting because of COVID and they haven't set up a Zoom thing. Well, I mean, then then you send us a note, you know. You say because they they know that every all the people who are involved are waiting. It's only only a nice thing they could do by doing that, but uh, you know. And I would call my friend Walter Sable, who's on the nominating committee, and ask him what's happening. But I won't because I don't want to interfere in the process. All you want to know is, you know, when is the vote going to take place? You're not going to ask him who's winning or who's going to win. Well, I, I just don't want to impose upon him with that, okay? Because I know him and, you know, I just don't want to take advantage of that at this point. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, at this point, I really don't care, you know? Uh, I contributed a lot to this business. I deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. They should have a Hall of Fame where people don't vote where they get together and say, hey, who should we put in this year? Oh, hey, you know, Alex Bennett for years did this, Sally Jesse Raphael. Fuck Larry Elder, you know. I mean, Larry Elder didn't contribute anything to this business. He only contributes, contributed to his pocketbook. You know? Hasn't he been on radio for 23 years? The, fine. He still sucks, and he hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything to appreciably move it forward. Okay, he hasn't done anything original. No, you know, uh, not that he's I got one vote right now. He's got Bill's vote. I, you know, I I never listened to him on the radio, so I don't know what his uh, shtick is. Uh, I know I've heard him as a commentator on uh, and a pundit on uh, Fox News, but I have uh, uh, never. Well, I'm going to uh, use a Jewish term. He's a Shonda for the Negroes. Uh, not, he's 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 telling it like it is. No, he isn't telling it like it is. He's telling it like he sees it as being commercially viable for him. Uh -oh. Phil, when are you going to understand? These guys are just in, in. They won't admit it, but they're in show business. Well, yes, when you're uh, doing a radio show, that is show business. Yeah, Alex. Yeah, I may have to cut out. Then my next door neighbor, I caught a mouse for a. And I put a bucket over it. Now I got to go over there with a glue trap to kill the thing. No oh boy. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing another person. Well, I'll come back. Let me see if I can get him on the trap. Two seconds. I got him under a laundry bucket. <laughs> <laughs> he was under. A My explain? mother's old lady friend. She called me screaming. I said traps in the basement. Take she screamed it's in my bedroom, so I ran next door and I pushed him out of the thing and I threw the bucket over it. So now I got to go there with a trap and slip it in. Yeah, Take I'll be right back. Camera. I should Let's have him dead in ten minutes. Hmm, okay. I caught him quick. I had him cornered. Tony, if you kill him, yeah. Rip the show, we need another caller. Oh God, I'll be right back. I got him. He's under a laundry bucket. He can't get out of the thing, Phil. So where, I'm gonna slip this wait, 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 he's, he's under a laundry bucket. In it's where, clear, like. But where is it? It's in her basement, like where she does the laundry. So, so she like, said it's. Yeah, I got him. He's only like this big. Let the mouse go. It's just a fucking I, mouse. No, if I let him off the bucket, Alex, he's going to be in the house still. She's crying. I got to kill him. I'm going to slip it in the bucket. Hopefully, he goes on the trap. And, and then, then I'm going to hit him with a broom, I think. Oh, I hate these things. I'll be right back. I hope he goes on the thing. Okay. I got a 75-year-old woman crying to me. Don't kill him. I got to kill him. What am I going to do with him? I'll be right back. This is insanity. You tell, see? Her, tell, her to, oh. tell her to lighten up. I know. I'm going to slip this in because it's clear the bucket so he can't get out of the holes because there's no hole. I'm going to slip it under there and hopefully he goes on the trap. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 
I just don't want. I hate these things, Alex. Oh Ross, God! I had a big room. Okay. All right. All right. I'll be yeah. back. All right. All right. Yeah. Ross, I apologize. This is what the show has become. When 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 Tony when Tony wow. slips the thing under the bucket under the the thing and the mouse escapes, you're going to hear a little girl scream. Ah! <laughs> you know, um, the mouse will grow up to be a big mouse one day. Go to college, contribute to society, yeah. and he's going to kill it. He's going to yeah. kill it now. Yeah. 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 It's okay. It's probably a Republican mouse. I don't know. We get, we, we got some mice here. Um, a couple, a couple, only a couple in the whole 10 years we've been in here, but you know, we, uh, we, you know what I got that got rid of them? Peppermint spray. Really? Yeah. Wow. Pe pe peppermint spray is very good for getting rid of mice. They don't like the smell of it. In my old house, I had a, a, a rural area that backed up to it, and I was getting, uh, uh, during certain times of the year, I was getting a lot of ants, mm -hmm. and I got this chalk from, uh, from some place in Chinatown, and you just draw a line with the chalk, and all of a sudden, there's a holocaust of, of ants, uh, and, and because they cross the chalk, and they die. I, I forgot the name of this. Do you, do you know why that is? Because oh. chalk is mainly made out of diatomaceous earth. That's what it was. Yeah, and uh, these ants, they take it back to their uh, to their nest. But if you look, I mean, there's uh, there's a holocaust. It, it's like Jonestown of ants. It suffocates them. Oh. And you just put down chalk, Mark? Yeah. Uh, you oh. buy this crap in Chinatown. Well, that's that's why ants never play hopscotch, I guess. Probably. <laughs> That's so, good. I I think it's what Alan said it was. Yeah. Diet major sir. They use it in a lot of pesticides. Well, you somebody know, here pest. said uh, uh, somebody should go get Bree and have him trap the mouse. That he's very good at trapping my, my animals. Uh, I thought I thought uh, I thought mice were attracted to cheese. Uh, cheese? Isn't that what Bree is? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> good one. Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good one. Good one. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But um, um, otherwise, uh, what we got going on here? Uh, are you? Uh, are they talking at all in Australia, Ross, about uh, the current situation in Afghanistan? Oh yes. Okay. Yes, they are. Okay. And and what is their take on it? Well, as Australia has been involved in Afghanistan I as long as the United States was, yeah. But what's interesting is they aren't involved, so therefore they have kind of whatever their opinion is. It could be a uh, a, a outside opinion, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. the American one, one moment. One moment. Alex. Yeah. What were you going to? The Australians feel that the United States has let down Australia for uh, pulling out the way they did. Was, they let down Australia? Sorry. The Australians, Sorry. the United States has let them down for the, uh, for the U.S. pulling out of Afghanistan the way they did without consulting the uh, uh, other uh, uh, people that were supportive of, uh, of the U.S. effort as well as uh, Why would Australia be upset? Well, well, wait a minute. Well, let's ask uh, the man who owns one, uh, Ross. He had military. I, <laughs> um, so Australia's discussion about Afghanistan. Uh, we we're always, I mean, the building behind me, this one here. Yeah, but it, it's cutting. Let's just try one more. So there's a big. So that's where I work. Yeah. Um, the conversation about the Australians you know, in, in Afghanistan at the moment is very similar to the US's one. We're very concerned about our veteran population. Um, the way that America pulled out of it now, of Afghanistan, the way it just did, um, did surprise us, but it has caused a little bit of issues in particular. You know, no one predicted how fast Afghanistan was going to collapse. Right. Um, and because you guys already still have boots on the ground we're relying on that to get our own consular officials and and permanent residents and our interpreters out of the country just like you guys are yeah okay because our troops withdrew back in march 
Okay. So we closed our embassy in March, and we closed and we withdrew all our combat forces, with the exception of a small group of consular guards, yeah. back in March. The to me, no, my my, my question is: Hold on a second, Ross. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Is that uh, do they feel about your government the way they're feeling about Biden here? Many people they're like assailing Biden for this whole thing. The more concern that we have at the moment, I mean, aside from the COVID thing, is the overriding opinion about the government, and I preface this in the fact is that I do work for the government. Yes. Um, the overriding opinion has come from uh, more should be done to support the veterans. And there's a lot of criticism about the interpreters and the defense contractors and the embassy staff who are still in Afghanistan, mm-hmm. that more should have been done or more should be done to look after them. Right. Right. Uh, and and you f- feel that your people were not being backed up as, just like we feel our people weren't backed up that much. As in the veterans community? Well, or, well um, I mean, that we, we should have probably worked at getting our people out a couple of weeks ago is, instead of now. Uh, uh, do they... Um, they- well, considering our guys are out, I mean, the we had been since we withdrew our forces in March. We had been a slow process of getting all of the other, yeah, yeah. all the Afghans out, and it was a slow process because unfortunately our border security rules are very yeah. tight. So there's a lot of vetting that had to take place. Um, but aside from that, it's been a case of uh, what's done is done. Uh, we're very much on the case of we we need to do we need to make sure we can do what we can now, but even we're like it could be weeks because we've we've got Australian Air Force aircraft flying into Qatar out of Qatar now mm-hmm. into Kabul, right, right, uh, and, and so um, uh, but there doesn't seem to be the same kind of like they're, they're really getting on Biden here, which I don't think I think is a bit unfair because this is something he inherited. Uh, and maybe he could have handled it better, but he 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 inherited it just I'm, like he I'm inherited he the co- it, just like he it. inherited COVID, you know. Uh, but he did something about COVID. Yes, right. uh, yes, Phil. Uh, uh, is Australia uh, talking about the possibility of taking Afghan refugees uh, from uh, you know that are that are trying to escape that were pro? Uh, NATO and pro uh, maybe Australia and US uh, the last grouping that I heard uh, granted Australia has a very strong stance on refugees uh, is that we're taking about 3,000 which is a lot less than what other countries are but that's what um, the government has said that we are you said, at this what point is, what, is, what, is, what is your stand on refugees in they Australia uh, the, the government's stance on refugees is very much a case of legitimate refugees are welcome but because australia suffers from a very much of like very much like the us within a large illegal immigration Mm -hmm. program Mm -hmm. mainly through boats Mm -hmm. um that we it's sadly very restrictive to come to australia even like legitimately yeah if if anyone is truly a refugee freeing or being running from oppression it's certainly the afghanis uh well, it's, no. also, is, it's also certainly the Bolivians. Okay, so <laughs> give me a break, Phil. Yeah, really. You, know, you got to be consistent. Yeah, but the the Bolivians, not the Bolivians, but the uh, Colombians and so forth have allowed these cartels to flourish. Well, I'm, the people didn't, and they've been living in a living hell in those countries, and they want out of there. So you should say, okay, that's fine. You know, we, we want to take oppressed people. They're truly oppressed, just like uh, Cubans. And uh, uh, but right now, I think the Afghani's—they're—they're they're killing people. They're going door hey, to door. When the Cubans were leaving Cuba in boats, like in the Mariel boat lift, right? We didn't turn them away. We let them all come in. Yeah, they're mostly criminals. Yeah, a lot of them were. Criminals. I heard they were mostly Republicans. Well, because Castro was very smart, yeah. he decided to get re- open his prisons and get rid of all the prisoners in there and get them to come here. Yeah, uh, Alan, I got to say this: you're you're a one horse pony lately. Uh, you know. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. What do you mean he's a one horse pony? Everything is Trump. I think, Repo- ta- I think tr- one trick pony. 
I think trick it, pony. One trick pony. All right, Alex, if I you, have to go. You, you can come back. Uh, I'll, I'll be back. I have to take Jazz to the hospital. Okay. Okay. Really? Oh, wow. That's really? his son. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I lost two people. One to, a, to, one to his son being ill, uh, but he said he's coming back. So how fa far away is the hospital? Really? Yeah. Uh, and uh, that uh, 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 we lost Tony to uh, to Mouse Patrol. Uh, yeah. And hello to John Larkin. Hello, John. Hi. I've, I've been back working. Oh, oh, oh! You have oh, you have a job again. Well, uh, yeah. They opened up the uh, the Orpheum, so I'm ushering again. Oh, okay. On weeknights, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you got some income coming in, and I've lost Charlie Wallace to baseball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because he's working baseball. So uh, okay. you know, I I may stop doing the show. I'm really beginning no, to think no. of it. Nah, and I don't look. I don't have anybody. I do have six people, including me, and two of them. One stopped chasing a mouse, and the other's got to take care of his kid. You know. So I mean. Well, that's a, taking care of his kid, taking it to the hospital, I think is a. I, I, I think that's important. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not arguing with that one. Told the kid, hey, look, the 103 fever. It's okay. Drink a glass of water. Uh, I'll get you there in a few. Uh, as you know. soon as I'm through with that. After Alex, the yeah, show. Yeah. Uh, 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 meanwhile, Tony with this damn mouse. I mean, come on, it's only a mouse. If you leave him in the basement. He's eventually going to just crawl through something and get the hell out of there. And by the way, get some peppermint spray. Get yeah. a cat. Huh? Get a cat. <laughs> yeah. You know? Uh, Tony is being generous to his neighbor. You know, he called her the old lady. She's 75. I don't even think 75 is so old. You know? 80 is, but not 75. I could date her. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, there you go. Yeah. By the way, is anybody anybody uh, are familiar here with or watch TikTok? No, refuse to. I've gotten addicted to TikTok. It's good. Hmm? It's the new YouTube. Yeah. Is it owned by the Chinese government? No. It's owned by Chinese, but it's not owned by the Chinese government. Right. Well, they said that TikTok was spying on us and taking our yeah yeah Trump yeah, tried yeah. to stop it yeah yeah it's it's it, it's us being fearful it's it, it, again you know instilling fear in us I don't care I'm watching a bunch of women bouncing their tits up and down I hardly think okay that that amounts to uh, spying on me <laughs> you know stuff that they plant in there. Huh? Wait a yeah. Yeah, sounds just like Trump, doesn't I'll show, it? I'll show you what's on TikTok. I'll show you this. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. TikTok. We were just joined by the hero of TikTok, Jack yeah. Bishop. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're... Hey, thought to, heard you say you needed some help here, partner. Well, so I... you, you know, I'm just I'm getting to the point where I'm just ready to say say forget it. You know. Uh, oh come on! You know, last week I was that way. I want to say the same thing that you said to me. Play the yeah. tape back. <laughs> yeah, let me see here if I can uh, find some uh, some uh, stuff here. I was looking at TikTok. Uh, 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 they uh, they got a lot of animals here. I haven't got any, no women. Where are the women? See, there we get women. You get to see the animals' tits going up. There. Never mind. What? Oh, here we go. But I like the one where they do the uh, the animals talking to each other. Yeah. They go, hey Tony. What's your name? He goes, Tony. There's Fuck a, you, Tony. Well, there's a lot of anti-Biden stuff on there. There we go. Yep. See? Yep. Well, look, let's be honest. Yeah. When we were going to pull out of Afghanistan, we knew that this was going to be messy. Yeah. Anybody who didn't know it was an ass. That yeah. Trump was going to pull out, and he said it was going to be messy. He yeah. knew it, too. The timing and the uh, the the what closing the air base before they got everyone out. Well, you know the the, the most the grossest thing is is the Republicans using it as a political weapon. You know, trying to blame. You know, who the worst is that Pompeo guy. That guy's a, what a disgusting <laughs> little no. lick lick spittle little piece of shit. That's all he is is a lick spittle piece of shit. 
Can I write that down and use it on my show after the ramble? Please do that. Please. Thank you, sir. That's an actual <laughs> word. A little piece of shit. Oh, that's good. I like send us the link. What? You know, we've got we've you, got to learn. Just get but we can't just get goes... every we can't get involved in everybody's little piss ass civil war. Absolutely, well, I agree. Well, this was hardly a piss ass civil war, okay? But well, it was twenty I agree, years. But I agree was, with you it, that we got. You know, somebody once said you got to pick your fights wisely, uh, and uh, I don't think we picked this fight that wisely. We you didn't. Know, learn but from but, but let's off. let's remember, uh, uh, Bush got us into it. Obama, uh, Obama, you can. I knew you were going to come up with Obama. Obama continued it, okay, and then uh, 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 Trump uh, uh, messed it up. Messed it up. Down the troops. Yes, but he 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 had a pullout date of May first, which the new president was obligated to because the promise had been made to another country and to the oh, leaders of that country. Well, it, it's promised a lot of things and yeah, hasn't Phil, come to. Phil, you can go, uh, but the fact is that he was locked into doing this, you know. Phil's starting to sound like a one-pony show. Yeah, oh, a one-trick pony. Phil's, the, oh, Phil's got two one-trick ponies. Phil's one -trick the master ponies. of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, the you know, what we I, need in this country is a cabinet position of historian. No land force in Afghanistan has ever been successful. Okay. Yeah. Not Hannibal, not Alexander the Great, certainly not the British. And when you can whip the Russians out of a country, you're really some badass well, actually, sons of bitches. Actually, actually they I don't think they were whipped out of Afghanistan. I think they were whipped out of uh, Uzbekistan. Where were they? They were uh, Afghanistan. They, they were not in Afghanistan. Okay. The yeah. Russians lost in Afghanistan. Did they lose in Afghanistan? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I heard one general say that fighting a land war in Afghanistan was like fighting on the moon. Hey, you know you know what the best movie about Afghanistan in history is? No. The Man Who Would Be King. Oh, which, that's a great like, movie. Yeah. yeah which uh, but I have to disagree with you. The best movie ever made about, uh, about uh, the Russians and the Stannies and whatever has got to be Rambo three. <laughs> yeah, in which Red Rambo Dawn. goes in to help the uh, the Taliban, not the, not the Taliban. Who who was it that uh, Moshe Adin? No, who who was it that uh, that uh, uh, what's his name? Osama bin Laden was with uh, Al Qaeda. Um, Al Qaeda. Yeah. Yeah, he he's fighting. He fights with Al Qaeda in that film on their side. And let's not forget, Al Qaeda came about because of the Iraq Iranian War, which you know. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. actually, it became it came about more. Uh, you're thinking about ISIS. Yeah, oh, you're right. I, ISIS ISIS was a, a result of that. Yeah. So wait, wait a second. So. Rambo fought on the Al Qaeda side in yes. Rambo Three. Yeah, against, against the Russians. Right? Against the Russians. <laughs> they were was, it, rock, was this rock before nine eleven? You can find that movie. Go back and find that movie. It's a delight to watch. Wait, is that before nine eleven? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Way before. Yeah. Okay. After nine well, eleven, you can find. Oh look, who's back uh, from being on Mouse Patrol? So Alex. What? I slipped the thing under. He crawled. He crawled into the trap. But I had it half in, But it was like the laundry bucket. The trap got stuck to the edge. So then I let him sit there for 10, 15 minutes. I wanted to smash it with a broom. So then I flipped it over on her, and I just covered it up, and I just threw it out by the garbage truck. Hey. So actually, we threw our whole laundry bucket out. I couldn't get him off the because the trap was halfway stuck in. He was like this. Vegetable oil, Tony. Will oh, it was we'll, terrible. We'll, we'll take yeah. the, we'll take I threw the whole laundry basket because I couldn't get it off the trap. Tell, tell her if she wants to keep mice. How long would take to die? If she wants to keep mice out of her basement. Peppermint spray. I'm saying right. that. I'll I say it a hundred times. I get a cat for God's sake, Anna. In, in fact, it, I had an exterminator come in, and I say we stopped him with peppermint spray, and he said that'll really? do it. That'll do it. Yes, Phil. I got him. Was an exterminator at one time, right? Uh, didn't you uh, work for a company, uh, Alan, selling uh, or doing uh, extermination when you were younger? Yes. No, that's when he was at Auschwitz. <laughs> so, I, so I heard that Rock Hudson was going to do a Rambo show. It was going to be called 
Ram Butt. Oh, he didn't do that. Please tell me, Lord, he didn't do that. Ram do, you know, do you know how out of date that joke is? How out of place it is now? You have no sense of humor, Alex. No, I, I, to begin with, it's not funny. With jokes <laughs> like that, Alan, you shouldn't even be let on Jack's show. Oh, on yeah. that note, I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> Get really? you at the, on the other side of the hour. All right. Goodbye, Jack. He'll be on right after us in about I just have a strange minutes. sense of humor. You have a strange sense of humor? Yes. No, you don't have one. <laughs> well, how, do you, how did you kill mice, uh, uh, Alan? With uh, trap. I can't take them, Phil. I didn't want to. Diatomaceous earth there that kills everything. No, um, uh, with uh, uh, rat poison. Uh, the, actually, actually, in those wait, wait blocks. A minute, wait a minute. Isn't rat poison for a mouse overkill? I just put the glue trap in. He ran. Is, I was hitting the bucket, so he would make. What's crazy. actually in rat poison or mouse th those blocks is vitamin D three, which we absorb in our food and everything. It's the same thing, but uh, for a mouse or a rat, it it causes their blood to yeah. coagulate, and their blood stops flowing. Yeah, we can. Kind of strange, huh? Yeah, yeah. Who knew that Alan knew anything about that? Anyway, so you're back to work, uh, John. That must make you feel good. Hamilton. Oh, you uh, Hamilton? Did you, did you go? Yeah. Did you watch it? I've seen it a hundred times. It's, those songs <laughs> get in your head and you can't handle it. It's horrible. Oh, really? But, you know, it's a good musical, but yeah. when you see it so many times, it's oh, just ah! look, look who's back now. Wait a minute, you had to rush your son to the hospital. You had to rush your son to the hospital, Russ. Wife. Wife. Huh? Oh, where there's the hospital right. next door to you? Yeah, about five minutes down the road. Oh, okay. I was gonna say you've only been gone five minutes. Yeah. What, what was wrong, Ross? Uh, she's had some respiratory problems for about a week now, and all the negative COVID swabs. But because of how things are going, yeah, she needs to get down to get get checked out because she's getting because obviously the, the joys of daycare is that uh, she's catching everything. <laughs> Oh, what time is it there now? It is just coming up to 2 p.m. Uh, in, in the afternoon. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, we, uh, Jeff hasn't been here for a couple of nights, and I'm getting worried about him. Oh, yeah, that's right. He had COVID. But no, he didn't have COVID. Oh, he yeah, tested he positive for COVID, and then they tested him again, and he didn't pet te he did pet pet uh, tested negative, and then they tested him again just to make sure, and he tested negative again. But then yeah, since he told us that story, we haven't heard from him. Yeah. He had a false positive. He had a false positive. Well, it, apparently. Apparently. Hopefully that's all he had. So, Phil, Sydney, Australia is tomorrow plus 17 hours from the Bay Area. Yeah. I have, I, a, I have a friend that I talk to every night there. So it's daytime there when I talk to him. But anyhow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. So. But she's she's gonna be okay. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Yeah, we yeah. just couldn't get her in to see a, a, a GP, so she decided to go to work. Is it perhaps allergies? Is it allergy season there at all? It, uh, it's winter, so it's it's we're also dealing with the seasonal colds. Yeah, asthma. Cold flu. Yeah, have asthma. Yeah, asthma things like that. Yeah, um, being like you're also like 32 weeks pregnant. There's her immune system is also shot. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, all right. Right. You're having smoke from the fires in California, yes. and uh, it, it's really uh, strong uh, lately. You know, uh, I'm sure John doesn't uh, but, smell but it. They, they, had their, they had their fires in uh, in Australia. Ter uh, terrible fires. Went on for years. Yeah. Oh, have, have, uh, I thought the fires in Australia were over. Yes. Uh, yep. they, 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 uh, December, basically, we, we, we rolled in from the bushfires straight into COVID. No, oh, good for you. You didn't miss a beat, huh? So we've been basically wearing a mask for like three years now. <laughs> we had to swap out what kind of mask we wear. Anyway, Ross, always great to have you here. You know, we love having you on the program. Uh, Alan, great to have you here. Tony, uh, a nice nice adventure tonight that you no, supplied to us, uh, going out there and chasing mice. He's right next door, the lady, but I saw at the end. Yeah. And uh, Phil, we got you. Phil, thank you for, for rescuing me tonight. That's very nice of you, you know. 
and uh, and and John Larkin. I hope we see more of you. Uh, but I, at the same time, I hope you make lots of money and see 800 more uh, uh, performances of Hamilton. Uh, yeah, you know. everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, and uh, we'll see you hopefully again tomorrow night. Bye bye, everybody. See you later. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. Boy, uh, I really want you to call this show. Damn it! Seems as though everybody. I mean, Jeff is out, and uh, I don't know. I don't know where everybody is, but it may be just that time of year. Anyway. Uh, listen, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with The Intersection. And uh, then I will uh, be back tomorrow night at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time with more of The Ramble. Uh, in the meantime, as always, as I like to say, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, please, if you haven't done so, get vaccinated. It's fun. Bye, everybody.